Y'all thought I was done with the WAP inspired looks? Mm -mm -mm. We gotta rep my girl Megan this time. Hey babes, we're back at again with another WAP inspired look. This time, me, Hair Gallery International, and Rhonda's Place, we teamed up together to do Megan Thee Stallion iconic zebra look in the video. So Hair Gallery International made this beautiful closure wig. This wig is five by five closure. And she actually styled and made the wig and she actually dyed it in the zebra print. So she told me how she did it. She made the wig first and I think she um, toned it to be a little bit more grayer, which kind of works perfectly so it's not too, too white. And then she laid the wig on the floor and she actually did the zebra prints by hand. And this was her first time ever doing like a printed um, wig styled hair, if that even makes sense. And I feel like she did a really, really great job. I can't wait to show you guys how it looks at the back. So right now she's just flattening this head top. So we have to make sure like the part is very, very flat. And it's flat on my head because Megan had a nice center part and everything. So that's what she's doing with a hot comb right now. And yeah, like I'm just excited that we're doing this project again because the first look was super successful and we noticed that nobody didn't do the Megan Thee Stallion zebra print look from what I know. So that's why we're just like, this is definitely a challenge that we wanna work together and see if we can do this. So right now she is just, um, like I said, fixing up my hair and make sure it's nice and flat. And she's gonna be doing some baby hairs. Y'all know I love me some baby hairs, but baby hair is gonna give this closure a more frontal like effect and to just, you know, um, blend the lace a little bit more with my head. So yeah, I feel like I don't need to talk anymore for this part. I feel like it's really self-explanatory, but yeah, keep watching. So the wig is all ready, now it's time for me to start doing the makeup. This makeup look that I'm doing is actually inspired by Thomas Halbert. He does really cool one white eye, one black eye look, so that's what I'm doing right now. So right now I'm just taking the Mama Mitchell and P. Louise Acid Rain Collection in Blank Canvas, my favorite go-to base, and I'm just prepping my eyes with it. And then I'm going with the Benefit Goof Proof, Goof Proof Brow Pencil in number five, and I'm just filling in the sparse parts the sparse parts of my brows, wow. Next I'm going with the Carnival palette from Chanel Cosmetics, one of my favorite palettes. And right now I'm just putting the white in the inner corner of the eye and then I'm taking the black and I'm gonna be dabbing, dabbing it onto my eyelid because you wanna get maximum pigment when it comes to black, I don't know why I'm clapping, when it comes to black shadow. So I'm gonna pack on the color first and then taking a fluffy brush I'm gonna start blending it up and outwards. Next, I'm going to be going in with Coco, and that is a beautiful like white shimmer pigment from Peaches and Creams makeup. And I'm just putting this in the center of my eyelid, packing on the color, and then we'll be blending out the edges with the black. And then this part, I can I didn't film because my camera died. But I'm taking J Lo Rue's White Diamond and OPV Silver Glitter Liquid Glitter Liner, and I'm going to be um, adding it in the center of my lids, creating this halo effect. 
Next, I'm going in with House of Labs Identify Gel Liner and Aura to line my water lines. I love this formula because it's so creamy and it glides on beautifully onto my waterline. And next, I'm taking the Crown Case Blush Binder, ew, and I'm taking this really beautiful, like, pinky color, and I'm going to be applying that to my cheeks. I think this pink really goes well with the whole black and white thing going on. It's going to add some dimension. It's also going to go really nicely with my lip color. Next, I'll be going with Cash Lash Cosmetics Lashes and Big Bank. Use code Cash Save. You guys want some money off? And then I forgot to put this part because this part came afterwards. Rhonda gave me this idea. I actually added Bold Fold. Oh my God. Bold Face Makeup. And I used their Lashes and Blank Slate and I popped it under my black lashes just to add more dimensions. My girl Kay did this with her red and black lashes, so this gave me a little idea too. And make sure you check her out at I am Kayla Beauty. Ew. So next I'm going in with Ava Beauty Champagne Mommy and I'm using this as a highlighter. It's such a pretty like iridescent pink highlighter with like glitter shimmers in it. I'm obsessed with it. So some I'm using I added center my on uh, my nose, on my cheeks, and in a corner of my eyes to add a little pop and then I'm going in with makeup chambers a lip liner in deep it's a really nice berry color and i'm just gonna like kind of fill my lips in and kind of blend it up with my finger and then i'm gonna be taking my favorite clear gloss don't matter what gloss it is pop it in the center of my lips blend the colors together and then boom we are look at me mm, what and this is where we're gonna look what look how i look right now look how i what y'all this look turned out so much better than i thought it would like the, from the hair the makeup and then you about to do the nails Rhonda killed the nails she gave me the zebra nails of my dream this look just went so well together even from the outfit the outfit i got from fashion nova just look at these nails and the hair and the makeup like this look was a h to t Look, y'all, I'm just so happy this turned out really nicely. I'm so excited that we repaid and make the stallion look and everything. So, Toronto Black Girl Power again. Did we do it, guys? Did we do a good job? And also, look at the back. Look at the back. Hair Gallery International. If y'all not buying from her, you're missing out. Like, she did that. Like, I am so happy. So, thank you guys for watching my tutorial. Make sure you guys check out Rhonda's place and Hair Gallery International. Let them know that Zay sent you. And I love you guys so much. We'll be back with another video. Bye.